We have made a cupcake plushie. We finally have a cupcake plushie and pre-orders open June 30th. She is wonderful and I love her. She is a foot tall, very huggable. Cupcake is our baby on this channel and I've wanted to make this for years. Uh, we made the design so that she can stand upright on her own as well. You can see the difference here with a prototype version of the plush. She will ship worldwide later this year. And for the USA only, we made a giant version. At two foot tall, this thing is massive and you can just sense the scale. We can only offer the size to the USA because she's too big to go global. And Bolt plushies will be available for a limited time following June 30th. Thank you to YouTubes for making this possible. Pre-orders open June 30th. The link is in the description and there will be giveaways for free cupcake plushies on my Twitter and Instagram in the very near future. This is unpacking. This is a game about doing chores you need to do IRL, but virtually because it's more fun that way. It's not letting me do the E. <laughs> well, you know, when in doubt, you can just stick John in front and it does the job perfectly. <laughs> It's 1997. Like, we got a very cozy bedroom. Oh no, okay. You guys are gonna judge me for my unpacking style. So, uh, I'm someone who needs to take out everything first, unfortunately. Which means that we're just gonna have this absolute, like, mess on the floor <laughs> for a while. Like, th th this is how I actually clean. I, I, I put everything on the bed. And then I take it off the bed and put it away as needs be. Now, it's a chill, relaxing game, guys, right? But yeah, your way of relaxing may not be the same way as my way of relaxing. I'm just getting it all out first. Okay. Now we can start cleaning. Oh, God, envy. It's not that bad. Look, I'm working out the space. You, you guys are having a massive overreaction, right? It's not that bad. Even five minutes in it and anxiety is already through the roof. What's wrong with it? Just put these bits like just 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 wherever wherever there's space, honestly. There we go. Can't just leave that on the floor. It's on the desk. Yeah, I think that actually looks quite nice. It's organized. Just don't don't open the cupboard. Hey, that looks lovely. That's really neat. Finally, my own room. It's where John and Pac's story begins. Yeah, this, this is gonna be a little more difficult. Okay, I, I mean, I, there's only one spot where the computer can really go. Okay, I'm I'm gonna have to I I have to do with my method, guys. I have to do my met. Like, you're really gonna hate me for it. Let's get it out. Up toothbrush on the floor a moment. Like, business documents. Why is there a toaster here? Wait, I have rooms. Oh no, I'm gonna have to put it all on the floor in here too now. Okay, just, just stack it on the toilet. Just stack it on the toilet. We'll work out where it all goes. Why is there a frying pad in here? Oh, they're in the wrong box. Okay, just take it all out. Pop it on the stove. No, don't put it in there. Hang on. I, it ha, ha, it can't. There we go. Okay, we're ready to start unpacking. <laughs> okay, now look at that. See, like you're all freaking out. Look how nice this looks already. Look at it. Like that. That's that's lovely setup. Okay. I don't know why my first reaction was to try and open the microwave to see if I could put something in there. <laughs> Okay, well, the dishes are going up here, right? Go fork and knife. Big old knife there. No, that's actually where the can opener goes. There we go. No, that's where the can opener goes. Okay. Don't listen to the haters. This is the best way to unpack. Keep being awesome. Keep the good work. I promise this is sarcastic, even though it sounds like it. I promise it's not sarcastic. Hey, yo, you're George Foreman. You only need to take that out occasionally. Like, you're not making paninis every day, right? You can put that in like kind of more out of the way spot. I would normally put the pot like kind of lower, but we don't really like. I, I don't want to pop the pot in the same spot under the sink as like the like the rat kill the rat poison or something. You know, I just feel like that's asking for trouble. Uh, we're just gonna pop this on the stove. Like, I mean, if there's anything that you can keep there, that's it's kind of all right. Keep the cookies like really far out of the way. <laughs> we'll never reach them. <laughs> oh, there's an achievement for that. Put the cookie jar out of reach. <laughs> Just leave that up there. Put a knife under the pillow. 
No, you cannot do that. Like, God, the way he's unpacked it, like, like this psycho streamer. It's so unhinged. Anyway, I keep a pistol under my bed. But he gets the hanger. Flannel shirt, that gets a hanger. These are pajamas here. Uh, these you can honestly just pop under the pillow. Pillow of Holden, apparently. It's all underwear. Okay, it's all underwear. Dude, we have a lot of underwear. Jesus Christ. There's no socks. I wonder where I'm gonna put... <laughs> I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna line these up. No, that's horrible. Let's just change. <laughs> Unreachable brats. Everyone needs a junk drawer. Every, everyone needs a junk drawer. You, know, you need the space where it's like, this is where the mess goes. Okay, I can't go in there. Okay, everyone needs a junk shelf. Okay, what if we change this? Oh, there we go. It's so much better. Ah, <laughs> uh, good enough. Another home design. 2007. We have a floor plan. Oh my god, please don't tell me we don't have to do all of these. Oh, this is going to be about to significantly ramp up. This is- okay, this is gonna be a nightmare labyrinth. Big scrubbing brush. Do people- do people use these? I've seen these before. I'm- I'm very much just like, you know, get some soap and that and I kind of scrub with your hands more than anything. It's for the back. That's- that, that, that's fair. And I just like sneak this into the shower. That's a- that's a massive one of them though, isn't it? Like, that's really big as far as these brushes go. Like, that's like the length of someone's leg. That's average size. It's not! No, there's- the, that's- a, the, that's the length of a leg. That's like almost the height of the toilet. Okay, oh, it's, okay perspective is a funny thing. I, got, I gotta keep taking everything out in the meanwhile. Oh, we have a Game Boy Advance now. That's cute. We're really moving up in, through the eras. Mr. Pig made it again, too. Okay, we're ready to start unpacking there soon. I have two more rooms of boxes to get out. Cause we're cl we're clearly living with someone else here, so like like they must be. I, I I hope they're just like at work or something while we're doing this. All right, so let's start with the rooms that require the least amount of work. Look at the size of this shampoo bottle. Okay, like uh, look, I might have been weirded out with, like the size of the brush. That's not a standard size for shampoo. That's like that's like liters of it. But that 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 <laughs> it's man size. <laughs> Man-sized shampoo. It's like a ludicrous quantity. Yeah, you get that at Costco. I went to Costco. Um, this is like, uh, when I was like overseeing like Canadian family one year, right? And it's like they were trying to like show it for us, and like because uh, I needed like batteries for something. And it's like, oh yeah, here's like a pack of like 96 of them. <laughs> you want to get some pork chops for dinner? Here's like just a container with 20 of them. It's so much. Uh, let's do this room next because this one feels like it'd be less of a nightmare. Uh, Mr. Whiskers, you know, he, he gets the prime real estate that is on the bed. Okay, we got- okay, they, I, I, I think the chickens have to make it to the bed as well. They do need to be overlooking what's happening here. The Eiffel Tower apparently needs to go up here. It's, it's, it's not allowed just on the table. It's- it's probably not allowed like that. Yeah, you know, <laughs> keep you're living on their toes. GameCube goes in the bathroom, what do you mean? Like, wh where will it let you put it? I'd just be like, yeah, sure, this is, this is, that shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Just in the toilet. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. Okay, the kitchen. The kitchen is a bomb site. So let's let's try and fix this next. This is gonna be. I, I feel like this might be like it goes on top of the cupboards stage of unpacking, which is quite unfortunate because like you, like anything that goes up here is basically left to die. Yeah, if, if if the George Foreman's up here, you, you're never gonna use it. And like whoever you're living with, like a uh, kind of family or loved ones, they're gonna look at it eventually, like six months later, and just be like, "I told you that was a waste of money." There, perfect. We've got our lovely home. It's a bit messier this time. I pop this like in here. I can just roll it up. Ah, uh, no one needs to see my degree. <laughs> like just pop it down here. I don't want them to know. Put the degree in the bat room where it belongs. You just like pooping, and like you just like. Ah, you're wondering what that document is. Oh god, we're moving up in the world now. Look, look, we got like some actual IKEA furniture, I think now. Like super modern city home. Very high floor. Okay, let's start. Start with the bathroom. Unfortunately, because we were a while on that last one, you now have to watch me unpack everything on the floor again. Just, just please bear with me. We've got, oh, we've gotten the boxes really messed up this time. How high can I stack the books? 
Pop it on. Just pop it. Just. That shelf is fair and a bit of load. There's some real male living space vibes when you just like open a drawer like this and it's just a pair of scissors. Like nothing else. Putting the men in environmental storytelling. Oh, we actually have a, like a pot drawer, but for some reason putting protein powder in here. That's just, that's just not what you do. This is where, this is where the George Foreman should be. We're gonna use it. Keep that as like a display piece, you know. Important they know. But like, yeah, I, I, I take a protein supplement. But what's that in the middle of the table? Just take it in the room. Oh, yeah, it's just my protein. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I lift. It's no big deal. I, I, I'll I be honest. I feel like there's just not space for some of this. There's like not space and then there's like abandoned drawers. But like for the essential bits, there's really not enough space. I, I, like, I honestly feel like this is just the solution here. Just just like get, get it off the floor. This countertop is a, it's an absolute mess. There's just too much happening. I don't know why the laptop's here. Put it in the fat room. It's not telling me I can't, but I think that's because there's still boxes left. Look at, look, look at, look at this organization. This, this is just upsetting to look at. What is the mindset for placement here? Because it's not making it optimal. It's not. He's taking the time to fold them, but then he's like, his mental state is actually act rapidly deteriorated. I just like this guy already. You're judging him just like purely based like, how he's positioned all this. <laughs> we're, gonna... we're making it happen. Oh no, the game, it didn't like that. The game crashed. No. <laughs> no. Okay, it's it's not too far back. I'm glad it has some degree of an autosave. Uh, no, do you. Okay, he's not worried. He's not worried if he can't appreciate the diploma over the toilet. I can't put my diploma over the toilet. That's. But under the bed is allowed. That's actually kind of sad. Oh, we lost Mr. Whiskers as well. That's also a tragedy. I'm not as fond of the pig. But he's all we ha it's all he's all we have left now. I'm gonna put his shoes under here now because there's no room for it. But I'm gonna like completely mess up the order. <laughs> That'll learn him. Yeah, let me let me just grab your shirts. Hang on. I'm just gonna stuff them in here. What you get? Pop one there. Okay, one. Back here and one in there. Honey, have you seen my gray tie? Don't know where it went. By the way, you want to see my diploma? Hey, look, look, we're gonna be moving soon anyway, right? We're not living long with this guy. Just, 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 just toss it in the closet. <laughs> we're not staying with him. Hey, babe, you done unpacking yet? I want to see other people. <laughs> the unpacking has not gone well. There we go. <laughs> we're not staying long in this one. Feel so serious moving into his place. Don't get too comfortable. We're back home, are we? I mean, if that means we left your man, I, I'm actually okay with that personally. <laughs> Work, it, 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 you know, it's worked out for the best. You know, mom's not gonna mind if we like move her pickled eggs or something, you know, in the in the bathroom. The music is supposed to be like quite sad to hammer home, and it's like, oh no, something happened. But like, honestly, I, wait, hang on, wait, can I? Where, <laughs> Where's the bin? <laughs> oh, the pig made it home. We have our degree and there's space again on the wall. It's all work gonna be okay. It's gonna work out. Chickens made it home. So that's all we care about. Gonna let them live their best life here. Oh, I forgot to, I forgot I just put everything down on the floor. Oh, we got some man-sized shampoo again. Look at the size of this lad. It's such a massive bottle. I don't know what this one is. Oh, this is like for back pain or something. Oh no, we're getting old. Disaster has struck. There we go. We're catching up? We're getting closer and closer to the modern times. 2013, we got a new place. Okay, should we go out of our comfort zone and just see if I try and even put things away one at a time? Let's see if like this actually works and if I have like, because I'm going to tell you what's going to happen here. I'm going to unpack it this way, and we're going to reach this critical mass phase where I've ignored three shelves on, like, the Billy bookcase. <laughs> I like the idea of them just, like, brooded over the home. Okay, pop them. Just pop them in. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, the, the controllers, they're just out already. No, this is a stray game. That's all right. It can still all fit. Just keep the con- the-, the Controllers out. It'll be all right. Oh no, our back pain developed somewhat. <laughs> we have a cane now. Oh no. Posture check. Like yeah, it's not going well. You're <laughs> getting really old. We remote. 
Where did the GameCube go? <laughs> Someone steal it. And this is this is the the exact problem I was scared of. I there's just nothing here now. This is what I mean. If I if I can't see at all, I will not make the best use of the space. Now it looks like I've been robbed or something. I'll have to like pill for something from one of the other rooms. Oh, here's here's our back pain. <laughs> First thing you now take out, it's a sign. This this goes in the kitchen or something, does it not? We have an office now too. Oh my god, we have so much to unpack. Bend it over and open the drawer every time we have to dry our hands. It's probably why you have such a bad back. Uh, okay, I'll, look, I'll, pu I'll put it up there. I'll put it up there. So I, I, I didn't see that. <laughs> there's, 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 there's none there yet. I have to put them on the floor, Mo. I need more of them. <laughs> I... No, I, I can't, I can't help myself. I'm gonna just keep taking it out. I can't help myself. It's my method. Nice candles. Hope that doesn't fall in the night. Actually, yeah, that might be, that might be worrying. Candles under the blinds. Great. Oh, YouTube. You even closed the window. Oh, that's such a fire hazard. Oh, you're not gonna be able to keep an eye on that fire. That, there's more blinds there. Yeah, we're, we're not using the candles. Just, just stick them in the drawer. Just stick them in the drawer. They're not in use. Honestly, uh, this, this, this is something for like... Something that like, if you don't do, then it's like, I have to ask. Like, how many people here just have like, plain white socks and like, nothing else? Because I, cause I, I, I'm of the mindset like, you need colorful socks in life. You gotta have... Yeah, yeah, okay, quite a few people. Get yourself some colorful socks. It, it, like, it, it makes your day just so much nicer. The ones I have, I have a bunch of like, fruit and like, veg socks. So I have like, ones with like... Mushrooms on them and like peppers. I I I you I used to be like just plain vanilla white sock man. Just makes me so much happier in the day. Don't have a nice pair of socks. Got him old. We got our we got our whale statue. We got our whale statues. Let them kiss. <laughs> Mwah. Love is real. Oh, we we making like a character out of our like teddy bear. That's cute. He's got a friend too. The conspiracy board. This goose was found dead. Prime suspect is the three little pigs. Well, I claim a wolf did it, but I'm not buying it for a moment. Okay, we have, we finally have room for all of our appliances now too. We have so much space. Can't wait to like mismanage this completely and run out. <laughs> I feel like I need to make sure everything's positioned so that like I don't do her, like our back in further. <laughs> that is a genuine concern. We steal the guy's towel. Maybe. We might have. To be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lose over any sleep over it. Oh my god, where do we pop you? <laughs> I mean, we can make a hell of a statement having it up here. Gotta be careful. Like, if it fall, like that will impale you if it falls. Okay, oh, we got our candles here for it, too. We'll just, we'll just keep that all safe up there. <laughs> don't, don't, like, slam, like, the fridge door against the wall or anything, because you'll be in a lot of trouble. Okay, they're, they're not happy with several things here. <laughs> not even living with anyone. It's just, like, this, this, this is just quite upsetting. Apparently, this monstrosity is okay of a placement, though. Apparently, this, like, catastrophe is acceptable. Everything's okay there. I think it's just... What's wrong with the underwear? What's their underwear in their nightstand? I... I do! I put, like, socks and underwear drawer is in the small little drawers next to your bed. You're joking, right? No, that's where it goes! That's what you use the drawers for on it. Because, like, the first things I need, like, if I'm getting up in the morning and I'm getting change, is, like... I, if I'm getting out of bed, I need to grab my socks so I keep them in the nightstand. And I want to make sure I'm wearing underwear wherever I'm going. I'm, I'm not a psychopath for suggesting this. I, I, I'm shocked everyone's freaking out about this. Pull it. Yep. Yeah, can the mods please run a pull? Do you keep your socks and underwear in your nightstand? Oh my god, this is actually shockingly one-sided. Oh my god, we're in the minority, guys. <laughs> oh no, we are freaks. I thought everyone did that. How little underwear do you have? No, I have enough pairs, right? It's not a question of like, Jesus, he has barely anything. Like, he's living laundry load to laundry load. No, I have a respectable amount, right? But they don't take up that much space. You don't need the full drawer in the dresser. You gotta take it all out of the nightstand. Oh, no, they, they, this is just fucked. Don't tell me this is gonna be acceptable in here. This just isn't right. This just isn't right. That's just wrong. I don't agree with this at all. <laughs> Turn the house down. Okay. Oh, we got some plants in that. We got new furniture in. This is like an actual like thing from Ikea. There's like, there's like a more cube version of this, like a Kallax. Which is like furniture to live by. 
That's actually terrifying. I'm gonna put him down there. I don't know how I feel about him. Let me put this monstrous stack of Blu-rays in here. Hang on. I think it's... I, I think we made it too tall. I can get most of them in. That's quite upsetting how there's one at the side, but it's fine. Oh, yeah. oh, bless. Yeah, that's... Of course. Someone else has moved in. I thought... I thought we just did a shopping spree for some reason. Like, oh, wow. We've really invested in a lot. And, like, we apparently just suddenly love plants now. And we bought, like... We, like, cleaned out the garden center. Male living space moment. Ah. <laughs> They're holding hands. I'm just like breaking our new stuff. It's like, ah, why want to close? <laughs> so I'm getting like scratched. Ah. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry. Hang on. Uh, let, me, let me show it. Keep just trying to slam it close. <laughs> Got a thermometer? Oh, it's incense. Okay. People are going to be like, how does this man live <laughs> after all this? Uh, what's the issue? Oh, this is a little too menacing. <laughs> uh, uh, there we go. <laughs> Just like tripping over it as I go to the bathroom. It's like, ah, why is this in the middle of the floor? <laughs> all those drawers filled up quickly. 2018. Okay, we got a brand new home. Oh, this... We have a walk-in closet as well. Oh, we got a kid as well. Jesus. You unpack the baby. <laughs> They're in one of these boxes. You might, you might, might want to find them. Oh, I'm going to run out of space pretty quickly here. I'm, I'm absolutely running out of room for this one. Like, there's probably more medicine that needs to go in this cabinet. And, like, it, I, it's just not happening. It's, it's going to be everywhere. <laughs> Maybe this just shouldn't be here. <laughs> Pop it on the washing machine. It was, uh, this is the same bottle of shampoo from like 10 years ago. We just haven't ran out of it because there's so much. I'm actually stressed again. No, like, don't be. It's fine. Put the candles in the crib. <laughs> we got a toy for him to play with. <laughs> Can you spell dead with the blocks? <laughs> Hang on. Oh no. Yo, I want to have kids someday in life. I'm going to make like a great dad when that day comes. No, do not. Dad, look at how we turned out. Is children really a good idea? Oh, you do You do make a fair point there. I hadn't considered that. Here's our ta taxes as ever. We always keep that folder with us. A nice PC case too. It seems like life has like improved significantly. See what you can accomplish if you keep good track of your taxes. I didn't realize the IRS is in chat. <laughs> just pop, yeah, let's pop like the the pregnancy books here next to all like the D&D. &D. Like, you know, it's, it's its own kind of like fantasy adventure in of itself, you know? Just mix that up on the shelf. <laughs> uh, where are you going? I don't know what kind of statement this is. If it's like your band's signed poster is like hanging over the shitter. I, I have no idea how to organize some of this space here. I think the laptop, the laptop has to go somewhere else. <laughs> We're gonna, it's gonna be a gamer baby. YouTube Gen Zs and laptops and iPhones out the womb. <laughs> Stray kettle. Nice centerpiece for the room. Oh, I, I, I don't like the creepy alien, but I must respect its right to be in the home. You know what's funny? We're watching Dan playing the game or watching the chat lose their mind while they see how Dan plays. Anyway, here's my toaster location and the kettle should belong up here too. What if we just make this kitchen like really YouTube tough? Hang on, like what if I just start like, like, like let's make it look like it's, so, it's like someone has lost their mind in this home. <laughs> just, just cram it in. It's just the photo drawer. It's the worst place for the knife block. It's from... <laughs> Oh, that's so horrific. I'm just gonna put like all, all the forks and knives like just in the drawer loose. We're just not gonna use the organizer. <laughs> it's such a mess. I don't know whose belongings are who. So like everything is just gonna be mixed, which is probably really impractical in purpose. <laughs> like, you know, it just seems like you're hanging out in your home. It's like, oh, hey, everyone's socks are together. <laughs> like. But like, I, I don't know who owns what. So I can't organize it any other way. Okay, collective underwear and collective bras. I'm gonna pop them all in together. 
There probably is a better way to separate these, but like, you know, I I'm just a delivery man, if anything. Like, I'll be honest, this is accurate to the depiction of most closets, right? You'd get this far and probably just keep the rest in the boxes. Because <laughs> that tends to be how closet space goes. Okay, final room. You know, every bedroom needs a printer. Where are we gonna say, where do we say we we're gonna put the candles again? <laughs> Pop one in there. Baby, thank you. <laughs> Just fire source and like a laptop. We'll put this next to the, the bug spray. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're fierce upset. There's, there, there might be problems in most rooms. Don't want the printer here. Numerous problems with the baby. <laughs> oh, oh, the building blocks are over the baby's head. I didn't think about that, they're all gonna fall. <laughs> There's stuff wrong with like almost every room. <laughs> Numerous problems in the kitchen. Oh, I was afraid of this. I'll be honest, it still looks pretty bad in here, but apparently this is acceptable. Like even the little bus, like they're not giving out about it. Oh, something, something's still wrong with the baby. Rattle. Yeah. <laughs> here is a cuddly friend. To keep you company in the night. Okay, we did it. The kid's not making it six months. And that's the game. John unpacking story is complete. The moving truck pulls up. Oh, this is song bless. Door. Now all your stuff is here in boxes on the floor. I open up my heart. This is now a home. It's very cute. You cut the tape with my Stanley knife and we unpack your love. Then we f you two up the kitchen. We unpack our love. John. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, we might have ruined it. <laughs> we had a good run, gang. <laughs>